Hello. And now this is the eleventh stage of the twelve rounds. As you see, the last stage was won by Thibaut Pinot in front of Nibali, who actually took twelve seconds on Contador. Uh, the all qualification for the Cinco Sex Riders was Micah and Contador number one and two, or eleven and twenty-two. Uh, they lost twelve seconds both. Mike Rogers, 140, Kreuziger, 2 minutes. The all, all classification, Nibali got the yellow jersey and Contador got the second place. That means Philip Gilbert lost the yellow jersey. So right now, everything Nibali does, I have to go with him and all the way around, he has to go with me if I attack. So, because of that, and um, we have a lot of, what should I say, lieutenants like Kreuziger and Maika. <coughs> I could actually try to go for the mountain jersey with Maika. Because Kreuziger is probably the best uh, recovery. Peter Sagan is still close to get to the green jersey. He's only one point from Cavendish. And there's a few mountain states now he still can be part of. Because I did not get the objective, I didn't get a, some extra bonus for concert all. So because I lost time to Nibali. So that that's the problem. <coughs> the next stage is Pau Calteras. Uh, and after that there's a sprint stage. So we need now to get a few points with uh, Sagan and try to get some points with uh, <coughs> with concert all, or at least get some Get, get closer to control. As you see here, Nibali, a Chris Room, uh, and Nairo Quintana is the favorite for this stage. It's because the last climb and actually the mountain before the climb. Uh, if I make the right move, I can actually try to gain some time on Nibali on this, this stage. But uh, it's matter again, the form is his form is like. <coughs> last last stage with bad legs, um, then it's gonna be tough, very tough. But this is a stage we can use for Peter Sagan and Maike. Uh, Maike could go and attack with Peter Sagan, uh, and then Maike can be uh, passive in the breakaway, uh, and Sagan can help him on the rest of. The Rest of the mountain. You see now, Contador's form is completely good. So he has from bad legs one day to very good legs this day. So it's gonna be a tough race. The goal for Contador is to win the states, and that means his moral is gonna get better if he's gonna win the states. So we need to focus on to get a stage with him also because he had to get China. No, you deeply. No matter where, he should get time. And anyway, if you know Contador's tactic, he can probably get time in the most different places. The stage is 185 kilometers, so it's actually a long stage. Hello everyone! The program device for this stage promises a thrilling race. With the climbs of the Col d'Aspin de Tourmalet, climbers should have logical ambitions for victory. But without a summit finish, Baroudeurs will also have every reason to believe in their chance of success. We should try to get free okay, with Sagan. So I stick to the wheels in front.
The mountains don't scare him. He's already trying to escape. Okay. With the summit finish, today is when questions will be asked. And it's important to try and take some time back for the yellow jersey. Let's try to get back to that uh, group. The problem is there are too many riders. Or maybe they are letting us go, I don't know. We should see. They have a big, they have a fast move. They look like they're not moving now. It's not dangerous riders, so maybe that's why. If they no. want to win, the leaders should not give too much leeway to the day's breakaways. Because see, no, the long because descent okay, a guy like the two are moving, will not allow much time to be pulled back in the final kilometers. It's looking good. You've got more than a minute's lead on the peloton. And there's the problem. Are they still let them go? They can actually be two controls of He's uh, a good climber. Maybe we should try to put a attack on Micah before. Okay, I'll put in a big acceleration. The group is getting too far away. You've got one minute thirty over the peloton. It turned out to be a good move. Okay, we'll gently relay. The counter-attacking group can't be allowed to merge. Otherwise, there'll be too many of you and the peloton will continue to ride hard. It doesn't look like he gets the... Um, get from the peloton. He's able to come up trumps on the flat, on short climbs or on mountain passes. But if he's one of two riders at the finish, it's best not to count on him. A good ruler with not too bad a punch. He should still try to get away before the finish because he's not so fast in a sprint. I'll take it easy on the relay. The group at the front mustn't be to his liking. He stoked up his teammates to lead the peloton back into contact. That can be a problem, it can also be a good thing. There's no win right here. It's not gonna work. <coughs> we don't get that. Uh way we need, but it's getting back, we are putting Mike on the run. Okay, I'll protect him. So I regain my carte blanche. Okay, I'll protect him. So I regain my carte blanche. in the overall standings amongst those at the head of the race. It's tough with mountain riders in this breakaway. <coughs> if the pedals don't get up, we're putting Mika on a on an attack. The 
breakaway can't widen the gap. They're riding hard behind. This isn't the moment to relax. We know that. Now they don't move, but the group behind are coming. Still no win. I reckon it's walled up behind. Nobody seems to want to launch the chase. That's good. I'll take it easy on the relay. There you go. Maybe it's gonna work now. Maybe it's not. Maybe it just keep us in two minutes. <coughs> we have to see. He could be labeled as a puncher, but he's also good in the mountains. However, his top speed can be described as lethargic. One minute thirty. It's gonna work. Exit the air. Not a stay win. But uh, break away to can go all Very way. good ruler. He broke the hour record. It's best not to give Matthias Brendler too much of a lead. I think we got a two minute lead. He can only rely on his qualities as a ruler. Sprints and climbs are not his thing. Two riders on this breakaway with the uh, one hour record. <laughs> Derbritz and Brendler. If he wants to take points for the polka dot jersey, he must break away. Yeah, but he cannot beat Sagan. <laughs> There's no reason to work. He's a pure climber, able to follow the very best when he's in shape. The work rate. His best chance of Kirk victory Kalskev is to try a breakaway from far out. <laughs> yeah, really. He is uh, turn on. He wants to win this stage. A good ruler, he doesn't really have a strong point that would scare opponents. I'll try and hinder relay. Should probably get up in the top of the. He has ambitions for the polka dot jersey. Top of the pillars. Huh? The group at the front mustn't be to his liking. He stoked up his teammates to lead the peloton back into contact. That's interesting. What will Pierre Roland do? Getting up, they are getting up. There's no reason why I work with Sagan. I just need Even to make sure he's doing work. In the mountains, he's thought of more as a puncher. Watch out for him. He's a real puncher who can come out on top on any finish with a short climb. But he can also rely on a good turn of speed if there's a group finish. Working 
hot those two guys. <clears throat> Peter Sagan is one of the most versatile sprinters in the peloton, able to come out on top in any type of finish, be it a hill or on the flat. A candidate for the green jersey, he's already won several times. Problems, there's two riders for the lodger. He's after the points classification. Okay, Kowski. World champion. He does well on short climbs, but he can't really rely on his sprint qualities to hope for a win. Now the pills on our relaxing again. <coughs> He's interested in the polka dot jersey or stage victory, but he can also become a luxury teammate. Should probably think about uh, save a little more in Sagan. Also because it is bad shape, so he loses more energy faster than usual. But it's like two minutes and two minutes thirty, and uh, I told you before, it's probably gonna hold us like that. Nothing more and nothing less, and that gives actually Rifle Mike a good advantage. Puncher and good climber. He's a young rider to watch out for, despite his lack of true pace. I reckon it's walled up behind. Nobody seems to want to launch the chase. If I take the green jersey right here, I'm gonna actually gonna get a little bonus for next race. That's good. I'll take it easy on the relay. We put uh, Mike uh, and a power Kilikowski try to do a relay, even the uh, like number twenty and number twenty one. But now we get in front of the pills I'll take it easy on the relay. I'll relay. Yeah, we can save this and then we can do a fast forward to the sprint. before I'll be trying to go and fast forward to the sprint. Uh, Peloton is getting closer, that's not good. See, every time fast, fast, uh, the yellow jersey is one minute thirty away from you. Fast forward, it completely ruined the uh, tactic. Over the front mustn't be to his liking. He stoked up his teammates to lead the Peloton back into contact. The guys with you are upping the tempo. They're going to try to manage the time gap. Okay, we'll gently relay. Sagan's job is to get the sprint points, nothing more. When you have got the sprint points, his job is finished. Then you just have to stay in the groove. And then on the first uh, one climb, uh, it's the tactic that Rafael Michael should go um, and try to get the points on the hike with a out of Calgary uh, mountain. Stays like this is uh, usually 
uh, punchers who try to go away or who are sh those we call TV breakout. The riders are on to the first climb um, of the day. Given yeah, what's waiting usually hold to the last 10 kilometers and then they're gonna get caught. Moving on to more serious and a group climbs. like this is gonna hold to the first climb and then it's gonna be halved. And then the second climb, there's like only four or five people left. And it's probably gonna be the same way like this. And now they are going for the mountain classification. There's no need to use too much energy at that. Just stick with our own pace. A few riders already losing ground. You are two kilometers from the summit. Watch your opponents. The counter-attacking group can't be allowed to merge. Otherwise, there'll be too many of you and the peloton will continue to ride hard. Keep an eye on him. He's the best climber in the breakaway. Yeah, we know that. We keep an eye on him. Oh, he's the gonna breakaway take this. is increasing its lead over the yellow jersey, but there's no worry as it contains no big guns for the overall standings. His teammates are riding hard. He must find the situation dangerous with so many riders who've broken away. The peloton is starting to ride behind you. It looks like he doesn't want yet another rider at the head of the race. He trust us. Here's the positions over the last climb. The tempo is increasing at the head of the race. The breakaway riders will try and manage the time gap. Come a little too tough for you this second. <laughs> it's a more bad shape than I thought, but I think it's going to work. He's back. And the group are not riding fast, so it's good for Sagan. <laughs> you just need to hold it. Make sure he don't lose time and get uh, enough energy to make a final attack on the, the sprint. About 10 kilometers to the sprint. He's the highest placed of the climbers in the breakaway. See the profile, should be a straight here. Yeah. A little more downhill, that's good. He's a pure climber, able to follow the very best when he's in shape. The peloton are probably going to move fast because they have all the sprinters in it when uh, they're getting close to the sprint finish, uh, sprint uh, points. Protect. 
Protect him. So I regain my carte blanche. Understood. 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 He's got a good turn of speed, but he struggles as soon as the road rises a little. Understood. Okay, I'll protect him. So I regain my carte blanche. Okay, I'll protect him. The first 15 to the intermediate sprint score points for the green jersey standings. And it's a safe bet that the sprinters will try to amass a few before sitting up to form the Grupeto and face the Aspin and Tumale passes. Okay, I'll protect him. <coughs> Actually, this is a very so good group because that means uh, Cavendish cannot get any points at all. Um, and that makes me sure to get the green jersey after the stage if at least get two points. Should just stay in behind Krakowski. You're coming up to the intermediate sprint. Keep your eyes open. You're the best sprinter in the breakaway. You should manage to win the intermediate sprint. Kowskis right there. Sixth place. And he got the point. No need to ride faster than this. Good work! You've gone to the top of the rankings for the green jersey. You've won the intermediate sprint. Well done. The front of the race is into the feed zone. Last breather before casting the mind. F yes, sir. Save. Because we don't need to crash. Remember to watch part two. Uh, where... It's gonna be more exciting. This has not been the most exciting part, but part two is gonna be more exciting. <laughs>